hey, it's Gothi, and it's day two. Um, again, uh, I just got back from my TAFE classes and stuff. I am not a happy person in the morning, so you probably won't see any sort of stuff from waking up and before going to class, because I don't like getting out of bed, especially because it's um, getting close to winter, and it's cold, and I don't like the cold, and it hurts, so I just want to stay in bed, because I have not much like it. So, today we had another assessment, just another test, thankfully, open book, so finished that quickly, but, and now I'm home trying to chase a few things up because adult stuff and I have to do a dinner list and then just try and work out tomorrow because tomorrow is um, we've got a field trip we're going into a courthouse in the city which means I need to work out um, I need to have someone come with me because the terrain in the city is just a pain in the ass and I can't do it alone in my wheelchair um, and also I'm pretty sure it's up a giant hill, I'm not entirely sure, <laughs> um, but yes, I, Andrew can't come with me because he's got to work, so, um, yeah, that can't happen. It'll be interesting though, like, the train part I can do on my own is just getting around the city, which is going to be interesting, um, and then... I don't think I have assessments for Thursday. I really hope I don't have assessments for Thursday. I'm kind of overdoing assessments already. But my plan for tonight is to do a bit of gaming, um, maybe some stitching. I'm still sort of, I'm still quite motivated to work on the Heaven and Earth one, so that's good because that is a giant project that really needs more work done. Um, is there anything else I need to do? No? Oh! <coughs> so, this doesn't come out until July. Let's see. July. But when it does, pick it up because it was really good. Um, I'll do a proper review of it when I do my wrap up for my booktube wrap up for the month. But, um, yes, it is. Um, yeah, so it's a general fiction one. Um, I will put trigger warnings on it though for um, child abuse, like child sexual abuse, because that is one of the um, main themes in the book. But this was really good. It's um, set in Australia. I think the author might actually be Australian. Let's see. Where is the author blurb? Does it have one in here? No, it doesn't because it's an art. Hmm. I would assume the author is Australian as well because it's from an Australian publisher and set in Australia so I assume. Um, I'd have to look it up. I might do before stuff. Yes. July it comes out and it was really good so as I can't really I can't lend this one out or anything because it's a proof copy. It's an arc, so yeah. It was good though. I, I quite enjoyed it. Not not what I usually read. But yeah. It had one of those endings that wasn't exactly a happy ending. It wasn't a good ending, but it was positive. And it was just it was continuing that theme of um growth and um just just acceptance and stuff like that. It was really good. I quite enjoyed it. So, yes, I'll see you in a bit. Well, it's me again. Um, not much has really happened. We went and did groceries, got that done. I had a nap after that because I was exhausted. Um, I've done a bit more stitching on Heaven and Earth. This is the top of the page that I was working on, so I'll keep continuing this up to the very top of the first page. Um, apart from that, um, not much has happened. <laughs> I've been organising travel for tomorrow's trip into the city. I'm um, trying to think if I take some cross-stitching with me, or just some books or something. Um, I have to charge my MP3 player to remember to do that. I need music for the train. <laughs> um, and 
I am 26 in 15 minutes, so still sort of not excited about my birthday. It's one of those things where I sort of get, I, I have moments where I'm a little excited and it's like, yeah, it's my birthday, I'm having a cake and burritos, and then it's just like, so I'm going to get a bunch of birthday messages from people who I don't hear from any other time of the year. Um, I don't have any friends that want to see me. I've got a few stitchers who are going to send me a few things, which is really awesome. Um, I was taking part in this um, floss fairy thing, and it was kind of, I don't know, just things are not turning out the way that I'd hoped they would this year. And I mean, I don't celebrate my birthday because my birthday's never been a great affair in the past, so. But, um, it looks like, well, it's, at the moment, it seems like my parents have even forgotten about it. So, let's, uh, see what happens tomorrow. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like a on-the-fence sort of feeling about the whole thing. Meh. <clears throat> But yes, I'm going to do a bit more stitching, hang out a little bit more, then go to bed because I'm going to be up early. So I have to get to the station and on the train really early. And I'm going to be at the courthouse that we're going to the field trip to an hour early. So, ugh. <sighs> Using a wheelchair is sometimes a giant pain in the ass. But yes, that's it for me for today. Tomorrow will be a much more interesting day, hopefully. And I'll see you guys later.